right, we're going to work on measuring different things in science. Okay, we have length, volume, mass, and temperature. You're going to have to know a little something about the types of units that you will use, significant digits, and of course, how to actually calculate those measurements. Go ahead and label your paper 1 through 22 and get ready for the first question. Question number one. What is the length of the dry erase marker? Use three significant digits and proper units in your answer. So let's move over here to the dry erase marker. You can see it's lined up on the edge and now we have to take a look right here. What is the length? Three significant digits and proper units. Question number two. What would the length of three dry erase markers be? Question number three. What tool do we use to measure length in science? Moving on to the next question. Next question. What is the length of the science workbook? Use three significant digits and proper units in your answer. Here we have it lined up. And we go to here. What is the length the science workbook three significant digits and proper units question number five what would be the length of two workbooks remember the length of the original what would be two workbooks question number six what units are used to measure length in science now moving on to the next one our next question, number seven, before putting the object in this device, the water level measured at 20.0 milliliters. What is the new water level with the object in it? So let's figure out the new water level on this device. There you have it. Don't forget, try and use three significant digits and proper units. Number eight, what is the volume of this solid object? How much space did the object take up? Do not forget proper units for a solid object. So, let's get down and look at it. How much space did these three marbles take up? if it started at 20.0 milliliters of water. Number nine, what tool do we use to measure volume in science? What do we call this tool? Right here. Moving on to number 10. Number 10, before putting the object in this device, the water level measured at 600 milliliters. What is the new water level with the object in it? So, here we have it and you can see the new water level. What is that new water level? Back down. Number 11, what is the volume of this solid object? Do not forget proper units for a solid object. So again, it started at 600 milliliters. Now it is up to the new measurement. What is the volume of the solid object? Number 12. What units do we use to measure the volume of a solid object in science? And number 13. What units do we use to measure the volume of a liquid object in science? Or a liquid. Number 14. Which of the two objects has the greatest volume? Is it this object, the pestle, or is it these objects, the marbles, which has the greatest volume based on your data? Moving on to the next one. What is the temperature on this measuring device? So we're going to look at this measuring device. What is the temperature? Make sure you have proper units and two significant digits. 
Number 16. What tool do we use in science to measure temperature? What do you call this tool? Number 17. What units do we use in science to measure temperature? Moving on to the next one. Number 18. What is the mass of the test tube holders and don't forget proper units with three significant digits. So here we have the test tube holder. You can see that it is balanced already. What is the mass? Moving on to the next question. What tool do we use to measure mass in science? What tool? So what do we call this mass measuring device? Moving on to the next one. We have a stapler here. What is the mass of the stapler? Don't forget proper units and four significant digits on this one. What is the mass of this stapler? Next question. Predict what the mass of three staplers would be based off of this observation. It appears to be level right now. So what is the mass of this stapler and what would it be for three staplers? Get a good look at that triple beam balance and all the tools. Next question. What units do we use to measure mass in science? When you are finished with this question Check over your answers and make sure you use the proper number of significant digits and the proper units for each question. And then you may turn it in. See ya!